Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking all about menus. I'm going to show you how you can manage your menus, what they are, where they are, and how you can get to them to easily change or modify them. So we've talked about menus a little bit, but in this video, we're going to go a bit more in depth about what we're actually uh, looking at when we're looking at a menu. So as you can see, we have a menu already. We have this home and about us. You can see here that when we hover over this, we do get this uh, pencil that gives us the option to not only configure the block, but also edit the menu. You also see the same sort of thing at this top navigation here. You'll see the same sort of thing in this bottom footer navigation here, edit menu. So as you can see, menus exist all over the site. And if we come into structure in our sidebar, we can get to all of our menus simply by just clicking menus here. Now from here, you can see that we can add new menus. We can look at the current ones. Notice how we have the administrative menu, the footer menu, the main navigation menu, the tools menu, and the user accounts menu. Now let's look at the main navigation. We can get there by coming to this edit menu. You'll notice we also have add link here. So we can add a link directly to this menu without having to go and edit if you wanted to go ahead and add another link. Let's go ahead and click edit menu. Now from here you'll see both of our two links. We have home and about us. If you remember You'll see in the footer we also have contact which is a page that exists already for us including a feedback form. Now let's say we wanted to add contact to the menu here. You'll notice that the path URL is just slash contact. I'm going to copy this, just the forward slash and on. And from here I'm going to click add link. Now the link title can be anything you want. It can be contact us if you'd like. And you'll notice it's asking us to enter the path such as node slash add or external. You'll also see this little circle right here in the far right when you select this. What this means is that when we hit forward slash and you'll see after putting in contact, this link is going to go to the contact page. Now what's interesting here is we can have items in the menu that maybe we don't want in the menu right now. Let's say we want to build this out and have contact in the menu, but just not quite yet. You can uncheck the enabled box and it will keep the item in the menu for you, but the users won't see it. Now the description is something that it shows when you hover over the menu link. We can just say contact us. Now this isn't really something that's super important. And we also have show as expanded, and that's if there is children of this particular menu item. In the next video, when we create our own menu, create a new menu just for the fun of it, we're going to be diving into children and things like that. Now you'll notice that the parent link is the main navigation. So it's not going to be a child of anything. It's going to just be in the main navigation. And the weight is the position it's going to have in the menu. Now you can think of weight like we described before as in the larger the number something is, the heavier it is. The heavier it is, the more it sinks. So if you have a zero, it's going to be light. Obviously a negative number would be lighter. I typically like to keep everything at zero uh, and use zero as the highest. That way it doesn't get confusing. And then one would be obviously heavier, two heavier, three heavier, and four heavier than that. Since I almost always want contact to be at the end of the menu, I can assign this a weight of 10. And I can be assured essentially that if I create any new items into this menu, contact us will always be at the bottom. Now simply by adding that, our menu has been saved. You'll notice we can also drag around these to change the weight if you'd like. And after you do so, you'd want to click save. Let's head back to the front of our site and click on level up. You'll now see we have home, about us, and now contact us. We can click contact us and you can see it correctly takes us to the right page. So we've now modified this menu by adding a new item to the menu. So you should now be able to come in and modify any of the menus that are in the site. In the next video, we're going to create a menu from scratch. And in the video after that, we're going to show you how you can place it anywhere on your site using a menu block. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. If you want to get the rest of these videos before they are available, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and either purchase a Level Up Pro subscription or you can purchase this entire series to download. 
If you want more advanced Drupal content, there's going to be an advanced views series on the way to the Level Up store exclusively. So keep your eyes open to the Level Up store, check back, subscribe to the newsletter, and be aware of new products coming out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.